everybody loves stories because they allow us to visit places we've never been and see things in a whole new way. As a filmmaker, I really love stories. And my favorite story is the one that my grandmother used to tell me about going to the 1963 March on Washington. She actually heard Dr. Martin Luther King give his famous I Have a Dream speech. Grandma said that march was the highlight of her life. I love to hear her talk about it and always wish that I could go back in time and join her there. And now I found a way. It's the time machine that H.G. Wells and Doc in Back to the Future were seeking. It's virtual reality or VR, an immersive environment that allows you to not only see a story, but to experience it and interact with it. Put on a headset and you're instantly in another place and another time. <laughs> wow. Imagine allowing people to witness and participate in the century's greatest events, like walking on the moon with Neil Armstrong. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Or seeing Jimi Hendrix at Woodstock. Virtual reality has the potential to recreate history in a way that film, video, photographs cannot. You see and hear and feel the human impact of a story. And that's what I've done with Hurricane Katrina. Working with a team led by VR expert Jeremy Balenson at Stanford's pioneering virtual reality lab, we put you on a rooftop in the middle of the storm, water rising around you and neighbors desperately crying for help. You feel the fear and chaos firsthand. By now, I guess you're all asking, but what about the cost? Virtual headsets have cost as much as $40,000. But with the advent of new technology, headsets are being created for as low as $300. This is a revolution, and it's just begun. My team and I can't wait to see where it's going to take us next. So I look forward to seeing you again in the future or in the past, or wherever history is happening. <laughs>